Greetings, YouTube. As I've mentioned before, I'm a child of the Cold War, and as such, I had a certain affection for the genre of the post-apocalyptic theme. Whether it was in movies or books, the occasional TV theme, or cartoons, I loved a good post-apocalyptic story, and I collect post-apocalyptic role-playing games. Well, yesterday I got a copy of the 80s t t television series Thundar the Barbarian, and last night I watched three of the episodes. Now this is a very goofy post-apocalyptic series set 2,000 years after a catastrophe strikes the Earth. A celestial object passes between the Earth and the Moon, shattering part of the Moon, causing a rift in the space-time continuum as we know it, and the future is a world of super science and magic and mutants. And it's very silly. Uh, the animation is subpar. The writing is not great. Um, they overuse certain catchphrases such as demon dogs and by the lords of light. So it has certain, uh, you know, He-Man kind of a vibe when it comes to things like that. The stories themselves are very simple. Um, it's pretty much the three main characters, Thundar the Barbarian, um, who is big, strong, tough, and headstrong, and who wields a magic sword. Uh, his female companion, who is Ariel, she is a wizard. Both of these people are depicted as human. And then they have a companion who is known as a Mok, M-O-K. His name is Ukla, and he is a large, non-verbal mutant who is very strong and... Uh, is often referred to as being very stinky when he's wet, because he's furry. And they ride around on two horses and some kind of mutant horse animal everywhere they go. And uh, they have adventures in the world, and they mostly consist about trying to defeat wizards who are attempting to subjugate the human survivors in the future. And as much as I love this series, there really is this racist undertone humans are always depicted as the good guys and mutant creatures are almost always depicted as the bad guys it isn't really subtle um, there's also a fair amount of misogyny in there because Thundar is always trying to quote unquote save his female companion and prevent her from doing things that you know he would just do without even thinking because you know he's the big tough strong barbarian male and the fact that he refers to himself as a barbarian always kind of makes me smile because no one in the real world ever called themselves a barbarian. A barbarian was a term used as a derisive comment, because barbarian essentially means the uncivilized people that live on the edge of our society. It's essentially a way of saying redneck hick, um, which is okay. The word pagan is essentially saying redneck hick as well, and I'm comfortable with that. Um, but I have a great fondness for this series. It, it, it struck me as a wonderful way to spend a Saturday morning when I first saw them back in the 1980s. And I caught you know, a couple of episodes years later, and I'm really happy that I now have the entire 21 episode on, uh, series on DVD. Um, I plan on watching uh, three episodes at a time, probably once a week or every couple of weeks, so I can stretch this out over time. Not to mention, I don't really want to watch too many episodes all at once because there, there is really a lot of bad 80s animation and such. But as someone pointed out, some of the backgrounds and the set pieces and things like that are interesting. Um, it cannot be taken seriously uh, at all, on any level. Um, at one point, they jump onto a flying vessel with their horses. They cut a hole in the top of the vessel, jump inside the vessel while still on their horses, ride around the inside of the vessel, then eventually cut a hole in the bottom of the vessel and leap out of the bottom of the vessel into the water all without getting injured, and all without hurting their horses. It's just goofy beyond all compare. It's a lot of fun. Um, my wife was laughing at the entire thing because she's never seen um, the series at all, which isn't surprising. Um, and I loved it. I had a good time. I'm glad I own it. And it brings back some really fond memories, and it's kind of gotten me uh, in the mood to play a post-apocalyptic role-playing game again. So if you ever get a chance to check out Thundar the Barbarian, I definitely re recommend it.